Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you another node group that I created. It's called BB Screw. BB as in Blender Bash, that's the name of this channel. And Screw because it does the same thing, this modifier called Screw here does. It's the same identical thing, but this time we did it with nodes. As usual, you can download this uh, node group from the link in the description. It's a perfect way to support this channel, and I thank you for it in advance. And in the first part of this video, I'm going to show you what you can do with this node exactly. And then in the second part, I'm going to go real, real fast about the node construction inside it. It's a bit complicated, so I'm going to go real fast, but uh, some principles you're gonna apprehend if you want to try and recreate this node yourselves. So without further ado, let's begin. Uh, okay, see here we have this uh, this mesh profile, nothing to it. And, and now we're gonna apply this node group to it like this. And as you can see, uh, it kind of created this screw around it. And you will see in real time, if I move this profile around uh, everything changes accordingly I can uh, I can rotate it for example on the Z axis and as you can see everything works just fine as you can see and um, okay so that is it here we have this screw axis so uh, this is the axis of the screw so on the Z axis so uh, and another thing first maybe here we have this checkbox view axis and it will show you now it's not that big because it's uh, we have a very small and tiny geometry so but this is actually the axis you can see it here and if we for example move this axis like this like in a d different direction you'll see that this line moves accordingly so with this checkbox you can always see where this axis is pointing uh, that is very very useful and let's just move it a bit because like this it doesn't look very nice okay so here it is then next what we have we have the resample curve if you want you can resample this profile the, so this profile right here you can resample it with this see you can change the uh, resolution of this curve profile well we, are, we don't want to resample it right now so that's an option and then we have the angle for now we have the angle of 360 but we can we can make it smaller if we want see uh, then we have number of full circular movements so the circular revolution sorry and uh, for, uh, now it's 16 practically that is the resolution of one 360 uh, screw so if we have 360 a number of uh, full circular revolution 16 if we set it to 32 we are practically adjusting our resolution if we go higher as you can see it gets more and more precise so let's keep it at 16 for the sake of this showcase tutorial okay and then we have the screw so this is uh, how much in this direction the first profile and the last that here uh, share the same space will distant from one another so here we have like 0.4 meters from this point to this point in the direction of this axis as you can see the axis is now getting bigger and more easy to see once we have more geometry okay and then we have the iterations so how many times do we want to repeat this thing for example if we have less angular like this the iterations are just going to add the ones that are 270 so 270 times 4 uh, i don't know it's 360 by three probably but anyway so this is it let's go back to 360 here uh, view axis I've already shown you so here it goes here it's not here it's on and let's add the screw bit and let's maybe 
lower this to an uh, okay and then we have this uv offset which is actually the offset of the center of rotation so we actually moving it away from the origin point of our geometry but it's easy to understand what happens when we have this view axis enabled so we actually see what happens to the axis we are just moving it so if you can imagine a, a, para, a, a perpendicular plane to this axis we are just in and let's say the coordinates of that uh, plane are u and v uh, these are the coordinates you're going to move it by to have it uh, in a different place if you need it for some reason let's keep it at zero for now oh, no, but let's keep it at 0 0.3 just so that when I'm gonna explain what happens inside I will see the the what changes okay and then we have the scale along scale along axis and this is uh, useful this is like a, a factor uh, it scales the higher you go or the lower you go along the axis of a screw this can sometimes be useful for example if we have zero screw and then we can have something like this Let's see and okay let's bring back the screw and that is practically it and the end you have the merge by distance if we only have one iteration no screw and so that the first and the last profile get linked together okay that is it so now i'm showing you what happens when you use this node and how to use it and now we're going to go inside and real fast let me just enable the annotations uh, real fast we're gonna go through what happens here this is not a tutorial because it is fairly complicated it's just a showcase of the node tree so that you can uh, realize the logic behind it and maybe try to recreate one of these nodes yourselves and use this maybe just as a reference anyway so let's begin so here this is the first node that i'm that i circle because this is the switch that actually creates the curve so behind this node uh, our mesh profile is actually a curve okay then we have the set position that uses this vector rotate by euler these are this is our screw axis remember that we change the axis and we're gonna align our Euler to that vector so that uh, it practically gets to the zero zero one axis so we actually doing everything here with uh, with just zero zero one axis so the axis pointing up and then we're gonna unrotate it in the other direction so here we have the vector rotate by that rotation and then we're using the same rotation at the end of the road to invert the rotation and place it back where it needs to go and and this allows us to keep a very simple much simpler setup than uh, than if we would uh, just rotate it every time by that weird axis vector so everything here gets aligned to the zero zero one axis and then uh, it gets back to where it needs to be with the axes that we chosen uh, after okay and so this is the set position that al allows me to align the, my geometry as if we were screwing it around the z axis okay then we have the transform that moves again our uh, geometry based on these u and v offset center so that's another thing we need to do and that's what we've done here so from here without that uv offset to here okay after that we're gonna place this whole geometry that we have we're gonna place it 
in the center with this center origin uh, node that I created it's a simple thing you can just check it out uh, it practically uh, moves the center of mass of our geometry to the origin and it captures the vector that we need to move this geometry by and it uh, goes out on the output so that we can use that movement after so we moved from here from here to here to the center but we recorded the movement in this vector movement and we're going to place it on okay then four so we have uh, at center and then we're going to leave this profile for a second here and we're going to go here to five which is the arc so this is the arc that we need to align our shape on and this arc has a radius it has a start angle it has a sweep angle and everything is here i don't want to go into every single detail so um, it depends on the angle it depends on the iterations and um, it also depends on the length of the of this vector that we moved by you know and anyway so this is the arc and and this is what moves these iterations up so we are using geometry math as you can see iterations and screw we're multiplying and then dividing it by a bunch of other uh, parameters anyway I don't want to go into every single detail I just told you and um, then we have this kind of thing and this we have that uh, factor of scale so this scale along axes map ranged multiplied all this weird stuff that goes into here to offset my position to get you know, this kind of shape and then remember uh, now we have this curve that we need to align our profile along and remember where we left off our profile here at the center now this geometry is gonna get it's gonna get instanced sorry i kind of lost my way ah sorry here it is so this is gonna get instanced on our deformed arc and we got this now but as you can see uh, the alignment of these is kind of wrong so we need to use our rotate instances to correct it the right way and again here we have uh, a bunch of other stuff here we are transferring the attribute of the normal at the place of the curve so that we can align all of them uh, on the normal here we have uh, we arrived at this point but then we need geometry connect to connect the uh, faces you know to connect these profiles and how are we going to do that we're going to go uh, we're going to leave this for a second and we're going to create a grid so this grid here it's just a simple grid it's nothing to it the only important thing it needs to have as much vertices uh, as much y vertices as our profile and our x vertices as much as our arc has vertices arc like all these points on the arc and then so we practically have like um, like a uv unmapping uh, but in reverse uh, in, uh, of that grid that now needs to be placed on all these vertices so we, we have that grid that now needs to be placed like this and so on I don't know if this is the next one anyway and now that that grid needs to be placed like that and how are we gonna do that we just gonna use the set position and we're gonna use the attribute of position to that grid of position of 
these vertices and using of course this weird weird combination of nodes to get the right position at the right index not gonna go into detail on that and here we go and that's it as you can see we're still not matching the starting point and why is that because first we need to move it by remember that center origin uh, vector movement that now we need to move it back so we need to scale negative one to get the reverse because if we have a vector that's going like this if we scale it by zero one we're gonna have a vector like this so if we move something in this direction now we need to use this vector to bring it back and that's what happens here so from here to here and then this node moves it again but this time based on that uv offset so here we went one way and now we're just bringing it back the other way okay and the next one is just that axis that we needed so this is the axis of rotation and we're just joining it here with this join geometry and using this switch if we want it to appear or not uh, this is where the magic is gonna happen and then next we've got remember that vector rotate Euler that is now inverted to bring it back and now as you can see from this point to this point we practically aligned it with the existing geometry now finally and now the only thing left to do is merge by distance if we want it so this is the switch that merges by distance or it doesn't and that is practically it guys I know I didn't go into detail as much as I usually do but I noticed that um, videos longer than 20 minutes do not perform well on this channel and unfortunately uh, I don't see the the need to spend all this time a couple of hours or more to explain something that nobody else is gonna see uh, I don't know if, if that is because of the YouTube algorithm or whatever but anyway that's just the way things work so I kinda uh, stopped at this quick overview of the node to explain you the principles of it and hopefully there will be enough I hope uh, not many of you were left disappointed uh, but hopefully uh, some of you will still appreciate uh, the video that I created and of course if you want to download this screw node it's available for you from the link in the description uh, I will see you in the next one and thanks again for watching and bye bye